Hi, I'm Joan Newcomb, and today's Mystic Minute is Don't Get Stuck in the Storyline. Everything in this hologram is a creation of your consciousness, and it is all a story. Everything is a story. Planets, galaxies, whether it's on this planet and what's happening to this planet, or what's happening in outer space, it's all a story. It's a creation of your consciousness. As you become more conscious and you are more at choice at how you navigate through your storyline, it stops becoming scripted. And for you, it becomes improv. You are at choice how to respond at every moment. If you feel any strong emotion other than joy about anything in the hologram, anything in this storyline, it's not consciousness. Now you're creating it down to the smallest details, so you are having fun as the screenwriter, as the scriptwriter, you are having fun injecting crazy people to watch on television amazing plot twists of things that are happening. Threats to security in the world today. All of that is in the hologram created by use consciousness. And if you're getting carried away with it, you're not responding as consciousness. Because if you were responding as consciousness, you'd be having a lot more fun with it. You'd be playing along, you'd be laughing along at the television, at your Twitter feed, at the office politics or anything like that. You will have a sense of neutrality with what is happening, even if it seems life and death, or maybe especially if it seems life and death. Now, you won't be doing crazy things like leaping off of bridges because you know you can fly, because as consciousness, you don't fly, you're just everywhere at once. You may not have mastered the technique of levitation to successfully drop your body off a bridge. You're not Neo in the Matrix, even though you are. So a way to start recognizing this as you are waking up is does the story sound paranoid? Does the story sound black and white? Does the story point the finger at something outside of yourself? That circumstances or place is making me feel this way. Anything directional like that is story. Bottom of the fish tank. Mm swimming through the murky water and it's not consciousness. Now if it feels fun, if it feels delightful, if you're like look at the synchronicities showing up in my life, it all feels so serendipitous. When you're having fun, that's more you as consciousness. You as consciousness enjoying what you're here for. Enjoying the ride down the river, whether or not you're lazily in a rubber raft, or if you are going through rapids in your kayak, you may have a sense of exhilaration, but you're not terrified because you're doing this as consciousness. Now, sometimes as you're going through your growth and change, you know better, but your body just rises up with the story. It's like, cannot let go of this story. Four o'clock in the morning, this person did this, this person did that, you know, the sky is falling, four o'clock in the morning. Four o'clock in the morning can be a tremendously clear spiritual time, or it can be an attack of the killer gremlins. Your body will have a more limited 
perspective of what's going on, your body will have a life and death interpretation. The body's not going to make it out of this lifetime alive. It takes things very seriously. It will feel threatened. How you overcome that is bring your full presence into your body and into the moment. Bring your full focus as consciousness into your form. I like to anchor in the lower part of my body, the lower abdomen, the lower part of my, below my belly button, near the base of the spine, but it's not a chakra. It's just a reference area. It's an area of focus. And when you bring your focus there, it's like sitting in your driver's seat, occupying your form. Now there's some places to center that's like, you know, having your hands on the wheel and looking out the windshield. But in terms of just being in your body, letting your body feel comforted that your presence is there. Focusing into your form. When you bring your full presence into it, the rabbit chihuahuas go back out into the woods. They, the little gremlin voices get quieter and quieter. Not arm wrestling with it. You're not arm wrestling with the storyteller. If you want, you can talk to the storyteller. Don't give it too much of your time because it wants to distract you. You can request that your life become a romantic comedy instead of this horror film drama tragedy. See what happens when you give requests like that. The stories start to change. Sometimes you just need to send it into the back room to the card game going in the back of the house to get it occupied so you can focus on what you're creating in the present moment. Main rule of thumb, if it's dramatic, if it's life and death, if it's black and white, that's not consciousness. You as consciousness have a greater awareness of what's going on, what's the truth behind the story. So play with this for a couple days and see what happens. And if you like these videos, you can subscribe to them on YouTube or you can sign up below to get them in your inbox. If you want to know more, my website is joan-nukem.com. I have a weekly radio show podcast where I talk about these things with my co-host in Portland. I also have a weekly blog that I put out. You can subscribe to that and get a quiz on discovering your purpose and passion. You can find out about the meetups I have around the Puget Sound. I also have monthly webinars, and I have other ways that you can work with me to transform yourself in just a matter of weeks. So if you want to know more, go to my website, joan-nukem.com, and I'll be back with another Mystic Minute in a couple of days.